what, what, what is this madness? KHF putting out two videos? Very, that's three. <laughs> Made the same mistake that Sonic did. That's three, plus one makes it four. But, but, what, 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 what's this? KHF putting out two videos very close to each other? What, what year have we entered? Right, I uh, didn't think I'd be doing this so soon after putting the previous video up, but uh, I'm now able to make a major announcement, so I thought might as well make that announcement and talk about what's going on with the channel all in one. But if you read the title and you saw the thumbnail, it is true. I am going to be a guest on a panel at the upcoming MCM London Comic Con. It's one of the biggest Comic Cons in this country and I seriously can't wait. It's a convention I've been attending since I was probably about 19. My word, I'm old. Um, but um, I've been attending it for so long, I've met so many guests there and now yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a guest there as a part of EWE, which is the wrestling company that I'm the lead commentator for. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this, basically in the time I've been gone, I've been training to become a professional wrestler. And while I'm still in training on that regard, um, I am the lead commentator on the shows we put on. You can find a lot of the matches I've done commentary on on the YouTube channel, The EWE UK. In fact, we recently just put up the main event of our most recent show there, and it's actually one of the best main events I've had the honour of doing commentary on, so do check it out. So yeah, as the lead commentator, I'm going to be on that panel, but I'm not the guy you should be coming for because we're going to be having some of our top wrestling talent there. We're going to have our heavyweight champion Bullet there, our light heavyweight champion Alexander Roth, our commissioner Charlie Biggs, one of our top women's wrestlers, Claudia Bradstone, and the, uh, the one I'm sure a lot of you are probably going to be coming for, Simon Miller is going to be part of that panel. I'm going to be on a panel with Simon Miller. I just... He's someone I've been a fan of for so long, I just... Whew, I can barely get my mind around that. <laughs> I just don't remember the first day I met Simon Miller in person at uh, EWE, I think. You know that episode of Spongebob where he meets uh, that famous jellyfish uh, and he's like, Hi Kevin, I'm your number one fan. That, that was basically me when I met him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he and, like I say, all that wonderful talent were all going to be on a panel together and it, it's going to be great. So if you're going to be at MCM that weekend on the Sunday, come on, drop on by. We'll be on the central stage, I think, at half past 11. And uh, yeah, we'll be answering questions about wrestling. Uh, if you want to ask me questions about other stuff, you can. I'm mostly going to be talking about wrestling, but you can ask me whatever you want. If you, you know, know me from YouTube rather than as Clive Jackson, EWE's lead commentator. Which, by the way, that's how I'm being advertised for it. But um, Simon Miller is being advertised as wrestler and YouTuber. And I'm like, what? I was a YouTuber. I, just, I, I, I was KJ Fig Awesome. You, you should all know why. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I understand it. He's, he's still an active YouTuber. I, was, I have not been relevant on YouTube in a long time, which actually is a good segue into what I want to talk about. So, you know, obviously with the new video going up and this video going up, um, you know, after, what's it been, a year since I actually posted anything, uh, there's going to be a lot of questions as to whether I'm making my grand return to YouTube. <sighs> well, the thing about that is, the answer, it's not no, but it's not yes either. The thing is, YouTube has changed so much since the days that I was relevant, and with the way its new system works, it's practically impossible for a channel like mine to to get over with the way things work but you know to be perfectly honest I'm not sure I'd want to because you know I see the hoops that people from YouTube have to jump through just to maintain an income you know because YouTube income isn't you know all that much you know they need to do things like Patreon and sponsorship and to be perfectly honest that seems like a lot of stress for me and you know, I've had such problems uh, with my mental health in the past, I um, actually don't think I could cope with all of that. And that's, that's what I've come to realise, and that's why it's appropriate that Simon Miller is advertised as wrestler and YouTuber, and I'm just the commentator, because, yeah, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm really not. And I'm a guy who puts videos on YouTube, but I'm not a YouTuber, if that makes any sense. I can't keep up with the current climate of YouTube. I, you know, I'm not going to be... Sponsor I'm not going to be sponsored by shitty mobile games that, you know, hey, play Raid Shadow Legends, but uh, but don't play it, it's got to play yourself function, it's, yeah, and all that, you know. I'm never going to be that guy. Um, and with my life where it is at the moment, obviously, you know, I have a, 
have a real life, I have a job, I have a second job as this com in this commentary gig. So it's hard for me to maintain content on a regular basis, which is how you need, which is what you need to do if you want your channel to stay relevant. And I just can't do that at the moment. I'm not in a position where I can do that. So as it stands, I pretty much consider myself semi-retired. Not, not retired from YouTube. I'm not saying I'm retired. If I was retiring from YouTube, I would make a whole video on it and I'd do a final farewell speech. So I'm not going permanently, but I am semi-retired. So you're probably going to see me show up every now and again when the mood strikes me and I have the time, but I'm not going to be regularly uploading content. But, um, but like I say, I'm not, I'm not going. You'll still see me and like I say, there's Tons of content out there, content that's far better than mine, so, you know, um, I won't be gone, so, yeah, I will try and upload when I can, but there's going to be no schedule, it'll probably be a lot of me reacting to my old cringe, which, I'm so glad people enjoyed that video, <laughs> oh my gosh, that Shana video was painful to look at, but, um, I, I've got a few more, um, that I've been able to, um, salvage, so I'll do a couple more of those. Um, I do not remember a lot of them. I, I was surprised because normally my memory is really good. Like, that Shana video, I was surprised at how much... Not only did I not remember about Shana, but that I didn't remember about all the cringy stuff I put in. <laughs> like, I, like you can see it when I see Emma Sky dressed as Hari Suzumiya. Like, I was generally taken aback. I was like, wait, did I really do that? <laughs> um, so yeah. So yeah, not retired, semi-retired. You'll you'll see me every now and again, but not as regularly as you used to. But hey, you'll make it all the more special when I do upload something. Though that's not to say I've been entirely silent on all forms of social media. I'm actually quite active on Instagram at KJF McCawesome. I've quit Twitter now, quit Twitter completely, because Twitter is just an absolute cesspit of just such negativity that I was just like, no, nope, not for me, not doing that anymore. Uh, I'm, I quit, I'm off of that. Um, so I'm not doing Twitter anymore, but uh, I am quite active on my Instagram. I've done a lot about my uh, toy collecting hobby. You can see the, the big shelf of Power Rangers <laughs> Lightning Collection toys behind me. Um, there's also some Transformers for the day. You can't really see it because the seat, but there are Transformers there. You can probably see a lot of the Final Fantasy stuff over there. So I do a lot about my toy collecting hobby. Um, on there. Uh, which wasn't originally the point, it was just meant to be KHF social media, but somewhere along the way people liked the posts I was doing about toy collecting, so I thought, yeah, why the heck not, I, you know, it's a hobby I enjoy, and obviously a hobby a lot of other people enjoy, so yeah, if you check me out on Instagram, I'm quite active there. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say, so if you're coming to MCM London Comic Con in May, do make sure to check out the EWE panel, and if you can make it to the EWE show, that would be fantastic, because we're trying to grow the brand constantly, so we can you know, get ourselves out there, and who knows, maybe someday we'll actually perform at MCM, you never know, but yeah, if you come in, do come along to the panel, you know, we're really, we're good guys, really, we won't bite, <laughs> well, they've told me I can't anymore, you don't know if I'm joking, <laughs> but yeah, if you're going to be at MCM on that Sunday, do be sure to come to the EWE panel, and ask us questions about wrestling, you can ask us about other stuff, you know, you can ask Simon Miller and me about YouTube. Probably better that you ask him because he's a current YouTuber and I'm a relic of the past. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, come, come by. Come, ha come, come to the panel. We'll uh, hopefully inform and entertain you. Uh, but, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So I'm going to sign off now. So have fun, enjoy yourselves, but don't have too much fun. That can kill you.